Banks literally purchase billions of dollars in life insurance assets. Let's take a look. Okay, you can find this on the Google or you can go to usbanklocations.com and they will rank the life insurance assets for the banks. So here is the top ranking. There are literally um, just hundreds of these rankings all the way down to, oh my goodness, we're still going. We're into the 2000s. Let's just say there's a lot of banks that purchase life insurance, but I got to do some math with big numbers. All right, that's a thousand, that's a hundred thousand, uh, that's a hundred million, that's 23 billion, 979 million that Bank of America purchased in life insurance. Wells Fargo, 19 billion, 433 million. JP Morgan, 12 billion, 101 million. PNC, 10 billion, 605 million. Truist, relatively small bank, that's not a big bank but they purchased 7,548,000,000. Okay, why do banks purchase billions of dollars in life insurance policies? It's because they purchase a whole life policy and they put it on top executives. So if the top executive dies, guess who gets paid out? The bank. But typically the top executives aren't still working there when they die. So instead what the banks do is they loan that money back to themselves and they use it opportunistically in their banking operations and their investments. Remember, they don't have to pay those loans back because what do they know? They know we're gonna die. So the insured, which was probably a bank executive that uh, probably wasn't there when they did die, but the policy was placed out on them, probably lapsed because they took out the entire loan, didn't pay it back, and the interest actually lapsed the policy. What this allowed them to do was opportunistically use the growth in that policy while they were using that money from the loan as well. I know it's complicated. If this doesn't make sense, go watch my previous videos where I explain more about how high cash value policies work and that you can actually use your money twice. And this is what banks are doing with life insurance assets.